So, you know, the, in this, up, this last year or so, we saw we know that now we have a vaccine that's out, and we saw some of the discrepancy in uh, in, uh, in the hospitals in our neighborhood, healthcare in our neighborhood. So we're going to have our next brother, the next brother my man, Thomas Udley, and he's from, he's the vice president and CEO of Howard Hospital, Howard University Hospital, Historical Black College, another HBCU. So, Jamie, mm -hmm. can you bring in our brother Thomas into the studio? Thomas, how you doing, right, brother? Right. Hey, what's up, brothers? Hey, how's it going? All right, how you doing? Good, good, good. good. All right. Thomas, man, I, I don't know. We hung out last time before COVID. We went on vacation. So, we're like, yeah. hopefully, by 2022, we'll have another vacation. So, you know. We'll yeah, I hope, man. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. So, Thomas, tell, tell the people a little bit what, um, about your background, what you do. Um, I am a 26-year Army vet. I uh, retired as a Fulberg Colonel uh, last year in 2019. Uh, all 26 years, um, I served in the healthcare field. I worked at uh, four different hospitals um, as basically the uh, chief operating officer for those hospitals in different capacities. Um, and so I, I, I've been in the healthcare field and primarily healthcare logistics for a while. So um, with this vaccine, it's near and dear to my heart because it touches on just about everything that um, I've had to go through over the last 26 to 30 years in the field from the distribution, from the warehousing, uh, from the uh, pharmaceutical sales of it, um, even to the you know receiving it in the hospital setting. So yeah, this is near and dear to my heart. Cool, cool, cool. So like over the last few months or so, you know, a lot of people are skeptical in the vaccine because you know with the history, how especially people of color, we have seen how um, the vaccines have, uh, I mean, with shots and stuff like that, how the miseducation and the misleading of our people through time with vaccines and all kind of stuff from Tuskegee experiments, how when they saying uh, black women could take pain more while giving us anesthesia. So yeah. how, do, how do you educate or how you uh, get build trust in our communities with, with what's going on with the vaccine right now? You know, uh, we have to start at the, at the grassroots uh, and just give people education. Uh, what, what I found is that, you know, you have a lot of myths out there and it's so easy to believe a lie and to believe something sensational. You know, I mean, just the thought of somebody believing that you could turn green, grow three eyeballs <laughs> and eight toes. You know, I mean, it's just uh crazy how people could actually believe that and say i'm not going to get you know the vaccine because of that reason um so you have to start at the grant at the grassroots and give them the information such as the reason why the vaccine came so fast is because there is a need typically whenever you do it whenever someone creates a vaccine you have to have a cause you know you're not going to go create a vaccine and spend billions of dollars for months when you only got five people who in the world who get the mumps. So, you know, so then you have to find funding once they get the vaccine and they had no shortage of funding because the need was so great for us to create something uh, super fast. And that's the reason why it's out here now. Uh, they did all the tests that you could typically do on the right amount of people, except for uh, they couldn't get enough uh, Latino and African-Americans uh, to volunteer to, you know, be tested. But they had enough. I mean, but they really wish they could have. Uh, had a bigger population to actually do testing. Um, but I would tell you, I took the vaccine uh, when it first came out today, and I've now already had my second dose. And uh, I would tell you that I had no side effects whatsoever. Of course, you know, your arm or the injection is a little sore. But outside of that, no fever, no chills, uh, no heart flutters, you know, no cold sweats, uh, no breathing problems, any of those things that they say you're supposed to get had none. And here's the best thing. I, in my hospital, there, um, you know, we had one person uh, to actually that didn't look like me who actually had uh, those side effects, but all of the people who looked like me had no side effects, from my CEO all the way down to my environmental services um, leader, and also one of his employees who's over sixty. I mean, no side effects whatsoever. Thomas, what, what do you think this does to change our plight um, with just having the vaccine readily available now versus where we were this time? Well, uh, I guess last March. Uh, what does it do to, as far as the mask and going forward, the protocol? Do you see an end um, to this current situation where we're at right now? In this, if enough of us get the vaccine, I think they believe that herd immunity comes if, after you reach 75% of the population getting the vaccine. Um, and I tell you with this virus, just something like you've never seen before. 
I mean, this virus here, just think about it. If you get a cold, you know what symptoms you're going to get. Everybody's going to get them. It does not discriminate. You know, you're going to get a runny nose, fever, cough, you know, stuffy head, all of that. Well, with this virus, man, some people can lose their taste. Some people can lose their smell. Some people can have breathing problems. Some people can have no symptoms at all. And some people can have all of the symptoms. I mean, so, you know, it is one thing that is, so, it's unlike anything we've ever seen. And so, you know, with us having this vaccine, now we have something that can stop it. I am uh, very confident that I'm 95% uh, effective in not receiving the virus ever. I think I like my chances of having that than taking 25% chance of me getting it. And if you've seen anybody who's had it or you know someone who has had it, and I think I, everybody here does, uh, man, it's something that you don't want. No, Thomas, that's, 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 you, you don't want that smoke. You, you don't want that smoke. That's the worst smoke I've had in my life. That's the worst yeah. smoke ever. Listen, Thomas, Thomas, listen, I go Thomas. to the barbershop. And I'm gonna, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, no, real, real quick question. Somebody asked, do you, would you take, did you take the Pfizer or the Moderna? I took the Pfizer. Took the Pfizer. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask. I was going to ask the same thing. But I have another. I have another question, um, Thomas, mm -hmm. from people that I talk to, including myself. I think that most African Americans are not worried about the initial effects. I think that they're mostly worried about the long term effects of it. So the thing is, immediately taking mm -hmm. the vaccine and then maybe three, I, I, four I, years down the road may be the issue. You understand what I'm saying? I think that's what I hear from most people, and including myself. How do you How do you answer that? I truly get that. I really do. Um, but I look at the short term of catching the virus. You won't be around mm -hmm. three to four years. You don't worry about that. You know, so again, if I not take this to the barbershops when I go, do you remember when Magic Johnson came out with HIV? That was a virus yeah. too. And they told mm -hmm. all us brothers that if you get a condom, you're 97% chance that you will not catch that virus. Everybody ran out and got a company. Everybody has used them all this time. Well, now they're telling you that this vaccine is 95% effective of you not catching corona. Why are you not getting it? Your Johnson cannot be more important to you than your life. I'm sorry. It's just not. <laughs> wow. Mm. <laughs> all right, Thomas. Let's, uh, uh, Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. <laughs> Thomas, I'm with you, brother. The views reflected on this show. <laughs> hey, some of us, some hey, of us, without the Johnson, there is no life. <laughs> no, but um, no, because um, reason I was asking about the Pfizer Moderna because recently, um, one of my friends is, a, is an investigator for New York State, and a, a certain population of people. Because I want to make sure we keep sponsors. I don't want to get sued. I want to keep my job. They stole the Moderna vaccine virus, and with that said, there's certain group of people I'm like, damn, if they got the Moderna. Is that the better one to get? Because they don't believe in vaccines. So I don't know. I don't know what the, what's the difference. Why would you, why did you guys? Why did your hospital choose Pfizer over the Moderna? No, um, it's it's the way they're distributing it. Uh, some they're giving Moderna to some of the local CS and uh, Walgreens and and WalMarts and those type of pharmacies. Uh, they're sending out the Pfizer. The Pfizer came out first. So they sent that out for, or it got approved first. Let me just say that. Got approved first, so they're sending it out to some of the major hospitals. We were the, uh, in, at Howard University Hospital, we were one of the hubs. So that meant we received a large amount of vaccines and we had uh, spoke hospitals that we were uh, responsible for giving their allotment of vaccines to. And that's what we still serve today. Um, so the, the, the difference is for, from the two, uh, one is 95, 96%, the other is 95. One has to be frozen at a minus 80 degrees Celsius in a, in a you know, one of those super freezers. The other one mm -hmm. can be stored at minus 20, which is typically what you have in your house, one of those type of freezers. Um, so, and of, of course, one is, your first shot is on one day and then 28 days later, you get the second dose. Pfizer, you get the shot one day and 21 days later, you get your second dose. I mean, so, but, but both of them are 90 effective uh, at stopping you from catching the virus. And that's the message that needs to go out to our communities is, listen, if you want to be around to even see the next two to three years, you need to do this because here's what I want, here's what scares me. 
as this virus grows, has you know, have you noticed that it's mutating? It was affecting people who were over a certain age, and then it was affecting people who had comorbidities. Then it started, have you noticed that this thing is growing, morphing, and mutating, and now you hear there's another strand. What, what I'm afraid of is that 75% of us are going to get the vaccine, and then that other 25%, Oh, that virus is going to wreak havoc on them, and it's not going to be pretty because it's going to get stronger, looking for them to sustain it, I, and that's what I fear. But do you think that you just mentioned that there's new strains of the 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 the, the vaccine? <laughs> Does that mean that you're going to have to get? Do you foresee having to get a new vaccine shot every year to deal with the new strain? No, no, no. I, the virus, the vaccine that they have now is effective for the coronavirus. This uh, this new strain, all it is, it doesn't any sicker or any worse right now. All it does is make it, it it's transmitted a lot easier. So that's the reason why it's more, it's more contagious than the first strain that we actually saw. But I do believe that going forward that the coronavirus vaccine will probably become part of our life now. I mean, it's just like how the flu shot has become part of our life. I think this is the way we're going to go with this. And it's going to be an annual dose as opposed to you know, get two shots yes. every year. I think it's just going to be one dose. Yeah, that's my, that was yeah. my question. I got to say, yeah. I, 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 I to yeah. You believe that it's going to have to be an annual shot that we have to take pretty much every year. Yeah, how long does this vaccine, how long does it affect yes. if you get this in 2021? How long does it last? The vaccine. If you get it in 2021, uh, I mean, you know, I believe that it's going to be annual. It's going to be an annual thing. So it, you'll be good to go for another year after the second shot. So you'll be taking two shots if you believe in the flu shot. You know, you be taking your flu shot and then you'll be taking your coronavirus shot. You know? Yes. Yes. Okay. That is true. Mm. Okay. And do you think with the market, like we are, we have a friend named uh, Anton Gunn. He was a part of the Obama administration um, when they had the Affordable Care Act. said first thing was marketing. Do you think that with this presidency, that who's the person in charge and his administration, and all the people like that, is why people are hesitant to get this vaccine? Mm. Um, I think it goes a lot deeper. I go a lot deeper and a lot further than that. I think uh, as, far, as far as our community is concerned, we have a uh, we just don't trust. We especially don't trust the government, and, and right. we uh, we have a right. Too, because of what has happened and what we are currently seeing now. I mean, it's it's a hesitancy because of that that goes a lot farther. I mean, people bring up the Tuskegee study. You know, I mean, after that, after you saw the effects and the truth came out about it, of course, it'll make you kind of hesitant to want to do anything, you know, as an African-American person. So, yeah, it goes deeper than that. But uh, I can say that uh, what the current regime now it's uh probably a little gas on the fire to make it make it even worse say so, yeah, there's no way i'm doing it and trusting you know with the current administration so i believe that has a lot to do with it as well mm -hmm. and with, and with all the, we got a lot of delays now like and getting and like you know in local governments and i guess maybe what can you explain to people what's the delay for certain people against certain because i went i took my mother to the doctor yesterday and and the doctor's like oh i can't do this procedure on your mother unless she has, i advise you to get the 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 vaccine and so i told her that i live in queens but in long island a different kind of population they already have that you need to go on the and website and look for long island to get the vaccine what is the delay in certain neighborhoods that people that with like i hit hard with the vaccine what is the delay on the local or the or federal level do you know with the, you know what what i've found is just from uh me understanding and you know being prior military and some of my friends still in and operating on this. I think it's a distribution problem right now. It's just a distribution delay. Uh, and plus, um, on top of that, they they are they have put a priority on who's going to get it first: healthcare workers, people who are high risk, educate ed, educators. And you know, even with that, I, and I'm I'm gonna come back to what you just said. Um, even with that, that should tell you that uh, it's pretty much safe. Now, if they were targeting one segment, uh, one population, especially say, hey, all black people get it first. Now I'll be like, well, time out, hold on. You know, and even if they were giving it to all the wealthy and and, and uh, maybe the white population, I may say, time out, hold on, what's going on? Why are you leaving us out? You know, 
So, but they're not doing that. They're doing it to healthcare workers. Now, why would they cripple, even further cripple the medical system if they're giving it to healthcare workers first, the people who have to treat this virus or the people with this virus who are constantly coming in and this thing is rolling. So that let me know, hey, it may this thing may be safe. Then they're giving it to the educators, the people who have to uh, take care of our kids. They're trying to get kids back into school. There's no way they're going to take care or kill off the people who are taking care of our kids when our education in this country is the best in the world. So, mm-hmm. you know, with those two things, I was like, you know what? I'm going to this vaccine mm-hmm. because I believe that this time they got it right. So, the but question, the another question. What? Oh, sorry. All right. Go ahead, I'm proud. Hello? I believe is why they're delaying things. It's nothing more than that. Hmm. So somebody asked a question. Once you get the vaccine, yeah, I hope I didn't lose you. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, no, because you, yeah, it's a little choppy. Um, once you get the vaccine, can you still, can, can you hear me, Thomas? Oh, no, Thomas, we can hear you. Thomas got the same Wi-Fi as me. Yeah, you got that cricket. <laughs> yeah, Teddy Riley. <laughs> Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Well, this is this has been very, very some very, very uh, good information. Okay. We got Thomas back. Got him back. No, Thomas, can you hear us? I don't see him. No, I see him. Wait, he's not back. I can see him, but I think it's log off and log. He probably has to log off and log back in. Um, yeah, this is this is I mean, this is educational. Like you know, like my thing is, you know, we we are hesitant, hesitant on. Uh, oh, I got in. a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> You know, is nope, it, is there, it, there you go. Yeah, uh, you got demoted. You got demoted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I just be, I want to be closer to Derek because we both light skin. I don't like it. When it's <laughs> no, like we need a contrast. We're not gonna let y'all unite. Keep moving, doing it. Calvin says, "I want no, them no. separate. I want them separate." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's what I'm trying to do. Y'all trying yeah, I like to that one. The studio. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. I love it. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to show us that we're all equal. He's trying to show us that we're all equal. Oh, there we go. Derek, that's what I wanted. I want us close. I know what they're trying to do. (laughs) We see Casper since the Capitol got stormed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did you, unfortunately, we lost our guys. Bro, did, did you sell strikes again? <laughs> oh, man. I want to tell you, we had really great advice tonight. We had uh, information. I, I like his information, and and you know, and and I and I and I really pay attention to guys like that, man. You know, he seemed like on one level, what, what I got from him a lot was, and it's a serious business. You got to believe, bro. You got to have a certain level of faith has to go into you taking this vaccine. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm kind of like the person, I'm kind of like you, a couple people, man, like, I'm I'm like, I don't know. And, you know, the vaccine is kind of like that car, that new car. You don't want to take the first version that come off. You know what yeah. I mean? And that's just kind of like was always my thought process on it. You know, so I'm kind of looking to see uh, what's happening the first, you know, you know, what's going on, how people, how, effect, how effective is the vaccine? You know what I mean? Yeah, I think, I think more people of color. Uh, I'll wait five years. I'll wait about five years. <laughs> I think more people of color is um, uh, they worry about because not the long, like you said, I think Ron said it, the short term. Mm-hmm. You know, I think people worry about three years, four years from now. All right, now. that's what I'm they, saying. They, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in five yeah. years. You yeah, you have five years. Are your children from like your children gonna come out correct from this? Correct, stuff like that. You know, correct. so we try, we trying to make sure. That's what I think more people are nervous about. The, the thing is that I, you know, and I'm not trying to knock a guest or anything. The one thing that we we left out in the discussion is how much money is going to be made from the vaccine. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of peak, a lot of corporations, company, like me with my belief in corporate corporate America is not strong. They're they're based on money. They're based on just the dollar. They don't really care about people. So and, I, I have my doubts coming about back. It. Oh, yeah, Thomas, is Thomas is back. Thomas is back. There you go. My brother's back. Right. can't stop my man. They can't stop my man. There you hey, go. You, you paid that Wi-Fi bill? Hey, damn, Thomas is <laughs> on that Teddy Riley plan. What's going on with it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, listen, Lisa Lisa texted me on the side and said, where's her shirt? <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> we coming. We got we have the tenth. The tenth. Lisa, yeah. Brad, and uh, oh, we gotta get Corona shirt too. I just realized that. I thought the Corona shirt. Stop it up, y'all. We're, we're, you want, you want to hear something funny? What's that? The shirts just got delivered five minutes ago. Oh, that's what, oh, that was a oh good. That's that, was a that, that was the doorbell. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to make right. it seem like it was me, but that's the doorbell. Yeah. All right, so I gotta go back. There was a question by Dave. Can we? Is a question by David. 
most military installations don't, don't have enough of the vaccine to to uh, what's inoculate the entire population. And, no, no, no. I'm, my thing. Somebody text right then and move my thing up. Yeah, yeah inoculate the entire population. population. Yeah. Don't have enough vaccine to inoculate the pop entire population. Your population. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know. You know, um, is, that, is, that that David, our, is that David? Is that David? Our boy? That's David. David. That's our boy. Yep. Oh, that's what it. up, Dave? What, what up? What up? <laughs> <laughs> he's for, he's former. He's military too. He's military. These yeah. guys got a lot of birds on their chest. These guys like you know they've been doing a lot of stuff. You know they, they got different kind of money and all kind of stuff. You know so. <laughs> But yeah, Thomas. Um, yeah. So we just talking about like the people. I think was more scared about the long term effects and stuff like that of the yeah. uh, of the vaccine. You know, and I think that is that and things have seemed like it's been rushed because people look at information like you said on the net and stuff like most vaccines take three years, four years to come down the line. We still haven't got an AIDS vaccine and stuff like that. People are saying that right. all the stuff on the social media. So I think that's what I think is holding up and uh, for for most people of uh, actually trying to think about getting this vaccine and then you know and then I think people are like man, I'm gonna wait till the summertime. Because they want to yep. wait for five months to see how things go. If you're gonna grow yep. another eye and stuff like that, so yeah. And, and, that, and, that make, and again, that makes sense. And I, I never try to convince anyone or tell them that they must get the vaccine. You know what I try to do is give them the information. And because we're all men, we're all grown, we're all women. Because they're not giving it to kids yet or, or under eighteen. You know, you form your own opinion because you got to write your own book. You know, and so I give them mm -hmm. the information and hope that what I they will debunk some of the myths that they already have in their head, and um, it may help them to make an informed decision for themselves. Oh, Robert, Robert Mitchell, I can tell you right off, uh, who profits from the vaccine? Pfizer and Moderna, brother. That's who, that's who profits from. Yeah. Hey, I, and I bought I bought that Pfizer stock, so I ain't gonna. Maybe yeah, yeah, Demar. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you get that. Make sure you get that. Let me ask you, Thomas. Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, hey, let me just ask you a question. It. Go on, sorry, go ahead. I, I could just answer uh, about, about the about the Pfizer and Moderna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, Tom? Um, just just real quick. I know that Pfizer, uh, they did all their own money. They wouldn't take any of the government money to produce their own the vaccine. Uh, I think what they did is they thought they found something uh, true and legit, and they said we're not taking any money from anyone that's going to be in house. And then so whatever profits they make, they make. Um, right. And but Moderna, I believe, got money from the government. To produce X amount, and if they were delivered, they would they were promised more money after that. So, you know, I I again, I, I'm just happy that I've gotten one of them, and that I'm 95. percent um, And you know, I'm just gonna. I, I thought it was the right thing as a leader uh, for me to set the example and be a soldier for my family, and you know, be a servant for for the people too. If I could be an example to anyone, you know, that's what I wanted to do. Thomas, let me ask you this question. I have a friend that's um, been in the military, I think, as long as you have. He's right now in school to become a sergeant major. And um, I, I can only imagine how he felt watching the Capitol get stormed. Just quickly, uh, what was your impression of what you saw this week? Man, it was tough down there. You know, um, we, we were locked in for a minute. Uh, you know, the one thing that bothered me more than anything else was the hate that I saw in the eyes of the people. You know, it, it was, you know, as they walked across, uh, you know, our hospital grounds, they parked in our parking lot and walked to where they were going. You know, I mean, you could just sense and feel the hatred that was coming. And, you know, that's that's the scary part, because there's no getting through to that. You know, it's it's like, you know, you can't even love that out of them. And I don't know what um, I, it was the first time I ever felt like, you know what, there's nothing I can do to change that person's mind. You know, I felt help in that regard because there was so much hate there. And uh, I mean, they were in droves. And here's the thing, they were suited and booted, man. They were armed to the guild. And, you know, and so that lets you know, they, they were not coming there to play. And uh, yeah, so I just think my... it, it, it's a scary time we're living in. And, you know, it, it was crazy. And we actually had to treat one in our hospital, you know, and, uh, you know, our, our guys at, at our hospital are so professional, you know, trying to maintain the calm you know, even though they're coming in with all the paraphernalia, you know, and they are when they realize that they're treated by a historically black college or all black uh, employees, you know, they didn't like that too much. And so wow. it, it, well, our well, guys so remain so professional. They, and they uh, lucky they ran for you. If yeah. they ran into Dr. Damon Pearson out of work, if he dies, he dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Ron. Right. The go thing ahead, is, it's, it's amazing. I said it earlier. 
you know, Thomas was able to analyze and see the people and the hate and the threat that was coming, but the Capitol Police didn't notice it. That's amazing right. to me, yeah. you know? So, yeah, right. Let me ask you a question. What's the, like the, what's the morale, man, around the people that you know regarding uh, what happened, you know, um, on that day? You know what I mean? Like, you know, the, let's say, because we know that at this point there was no National Guard, let's say. Right. You know what I mean? Present. So, like, what's your morale on that level? Like, what are you guys, how are you feeling, you know, in terms man, of your it, own empowerment? We're feeling just like every, everyone else that looks like us in this country, that there's a double standard. You know, that it could have never happened to, you know, if it was, you know, again, Black Lives Matter, it, it was a totally different op situation. The National Guard was there, you know, and, and so it, it, we're feeling the double standard, nothing new, but it just is right in our face. And so, you know, I mean, the morale is still high because we understand that uh, progress is before us. And so we have to continue to strive for that progress before us and uh, just remembering and taking those lessons from behind. But yeah, I, I think uh, you know people are feeling just like you all are feeling. We're upset about it. We're hot, but uh, we understand we got a lot of work to do, and uh, that work starts today as we see it, accept it, embrace it, and say, "Now let's do something about it." Right, Thomas. Um, so, uh, David. David asked a question. What do you recommend to families that don't believe in the, in vaccinations? Should they make an exception to, to for COVID nineteen? I Again, I'm going to say this because this is what I believe. I believe that everyone, if we want to get back to life as normal, we're going to have to get this vaccine. I mean, because can you think of anything else that can prevent you from getting this virus? I can't. They have, it's not been created because before uh, a couple of years ago, this virus, this virus was hadn't been created like this. And so, you know, I, I just believe that in order for us to get back to life, Life is normal, you know, so we can go back to Costa Rica. You know, I believe. <laughs> That's the last time I've been on a plane, man. Damn, the last time I've been on a plane, man. Word, man. Hey, if you go go to a plane, go there, brother. Yeah, man. That's right. That's my man's wife is from there. So real quick, uh, Dwayne asked the question. Dwayne. What happened if you miss the second shot? Then um, you're just 50% covered. Uh, the first shot gets you to 50 percent the second shot gets you to 95 percent you miss the second shot you just halfway covered that's all how long I mean, out, you, how like long out you, payment. yeah how long out can you take your second shot because we're saying Sorry. like i think there's a certain there's a certain amount of time that you have to take the second mm -hmm. shot in what if you yes. miss that that window or whatever like how far out is that window yeah okay you know? it's like again the window is narrow and that they've been and we've been very strategic and making sure that everyone gets their next appointment um, as soon as they get the first shot. And so, you know, it's 21 days for Pfizer. You got a 21 day window. And then, uh, so you can't get it before, but you got to get it on that 21st day. And the same thing with Moderna is 28 days. That's the window. So you schedule that appointment and you make that appointment. You get it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But I, I would just say that I'm brother like me, man, because I'm on the fence. I'm not gonna lie, I'm on the fence. I'm one of those dudes that's kind of like, man, I gotta wait and see. And, I'm not on the uh, fence. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, Rodney, I'm fence. He ain't. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I'm brother like years. me, who might be on the fence, or whatever. What would you tell me to say? Okay, you know, you might want to consider the, the 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 vaccine. You might want to go over there because X Y Z. What would the X Y Z be? Well, first, first, I would tell you this. I, I want you to bring me back in six months. And if I'm looking like Pookie from New Jack City, don't get that back. <laughs> we're we going to bring you back every six months for the next five years. That's what we're going to do. Every six months for the next five years. Listen, that's, 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 that's it. it. Right. That's, right. It. We gotta, we gotta, no, that's a good idea. We're going to have a check-in on Thomas every six months <laughs> for the show. <laughs> And see if he grew see another how he eye. If he grew a finger out of, out of forehead or something. Yeah, yeah. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, if you look like Pookie, they didn't give you no vaccine, brother. Yeah, yeah. They, they, gave, you, they gave you something else. They gave you that ooh wee. They gave you ooh wee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I told, I told my mother that I got the vaccine. And my family's from Mississippi. So they ain't understanding any of this. Of course, you know, they're not trying to take it or hear about it. Right now, they don't trust anything out of Mississippi, and so my mom said, "Boy, if you're gonna have, you're gonna, you're gonna get 
three eyeballs and eight toes if you can get that vaccine. <laughs> and I said, well, mom, guess what? I'll be able to see you better and run to you faster. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, listen. You come back to you come back to Walking Dead, Thomas. I will have to shoot you on vacation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna bite me, bro. You're not gonna bite yeah. me. Um, it, was, it was a question I think here. Um, trying to read. What does it think? What do you think about the UK giving out the second round of shots as as the first per, first people as first is that written right? As first people, first shot spread. The, what that shit is I, written wrong. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, all right. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll go back to. What? I don't know if you see. Come on, the UK give people, the second, give a second shot. The first first people. People. First people. Oh, we need that right in vaccine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? All right. All right. I think it's. It that shit is the. That shit is the bonics like a motherfucker. <laughs> I, I know. I thought it was me. I'm like, you know, I know my eyes are messing up. I'm, 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 I'm playing over here. I'm yeah. sick. I'm like, Tom, yo, Tom, I would assume they mean why? Why? How are they? getting it much faster than we are and um they had a you know i guess where it came from well, I, we understand that one uh part of the world was china the other part came from europe so people wondering why we may be in a uh, second or third place in, in receiving it i, I oh. would assume that's probably what they mean oh they said half doses spreading and then yeah spreading out the vaccine yeah okay i'm seeing that spreading out oh, the right. vaccine, I didn't, I didn't half do that. yeah yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess they had a question about the way it was disseminated, but we can't really assume what they're asking. Um, yeah, yeah I, you know, yeah, but we I do encourage everybody. And that's the thing that bugs me. You have to give out the proper dose, man. They have a whole lot of stuff that they have to handle that they have to keep a, 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 a track of. Because if you yes. don't give out the proper dosage amount, and you have to figure that out sometimes, all right, you yes. can create what's called a super bug. You know what I mean? And then it becomes. You know, harder it mutates. That's where the mutation comes from, and everything. And, I, and that's just what I heard from learned. Yeah. Well, you know. I know that the vaccine comes in a vial, and in that vial, you can get five doses. You know, out of that vial. And our pharmacists are highly qualified, and that's what they do. They they yeah. measure. They make sure that there is diluted with the right stuff. I mean, five doses is what they have, and that's what each vial gives you. So. Um, I don't understand the, the question about giving second shots, first shots. You're going to say a, a lot type of vaccine. You know, I have my card. Both of them say Pfizer and it has a lot number and everything on them. So we're 21 days apart. Thomas, you think they're going to create a bootleg market for this vaccine? And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm dead serious. No, I, I hope because not. the thing is, everything with money, they're going to create a bootleg of it. You know what I mean? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> don't take the bootleg vaccine, bro. Well, you be getting a vaccine in the back of the barbershop with a tattoo pile. You come, you come with 15%. 15%. I yeah. pay the other remaining part in this storm. Yeah, you, you pay it a little at a time. It's on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you have to be mighty desperate to get a uh, vaccine out of the battle in an alley or a doctor. Yeah. Well, well, Thomas, I want to thank you because you uh, have been the most informative I've, uh, across the board that I've known to actually have someone that can explain this. I, I, I appreciate you made some very salient points and thank you so much for uh, sharing thank it. Um, I just want to say that I'm not closing it out. I was just saying, you know, I appreciate it. Okay. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> Yo, all right. I'm gonna go to really Brad. Go. Yeah, uh, Robert. Robert. Robert asked. Right now, is it is it projected that those of us in stage three of the receiving the vaccine will not receive it until April or May? Do you think they will distrib distribute it at a faster a faster rate? Yes, I do. I I, I have real confidence in uh you know our, the the people that they have in charge of. Operation Warp Speed and the people they have distributing it. I, I think uh, uh, as the virus continues to take a toll on our country, um, I think that you know they're going to up the game and make sure that it gets in the right hands um, and it's in the right quantities and uh, the people are going to get it so that we can get back to life as normal. Because if you think about it, man, our country um, in 2020, it just, I mean, it, we saw a different thing in 2020. I mean, it was just crazy. And so, I mean, everyone wants uh, and they're anxious to get back to life as normal, life as it used to be. And I think we're going to get there. Brad, Brad said he'll be hitting, hitting golf, ball, golf balls off the Intrepid with his German Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am, Whatever that means. He's Whatever that means. I am, I am, he's I am legend. <laughs> oh, oh, man. God. Oh, man. Uh, but no, that's, oh, that's hilarious. Good. No, that, yeah, Thomas, like, yeah. seriously, man, like, like, 
I know you, and I'm glad that you broke it down to the people and stuff like that. I think it gives people a little bit more confidence, and, and now they can research a little bit more with the information that you give gave to gave it to us tonight. You know, which is years of service and what you do at Howard Hospital. And my aunt works there, so you know it's a good, great hospital. My aunt name is Cheryl Crandall. I don't know if you know, she wanted head nurse in charge. Cheryl Brandle? No, Crandall. 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 Okay. I, yeah, I, yeah. I look her yeah. Up. <laughs> then, uh, so you know, we we truly appreciate. It. I think somebody. Oh, there's one more question. I heard that mercury is in one of the co components used in the vaccine. Is mercury uh, an ingredient in any of the vaccines that are being distrib distributed to, from COVID? Uh, COVID. I've never heard that. I've never heard anything about mercury being inside of one of the components of the vaccine. I never heard See, that. This is, this is what I'm saying. It's already starting the bootleg. No, that's that. That's that barbershop version. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that that mercury. It does. Then it there's going to be a rumor that says there's collard greens in one of the. the <laughs> no, you no, know they, you got to say coming. <laughs> the natives will take it if it's Hennessy inside of it. Yeah, if, <laughs> no, if it's Hennessy, yeah. they're definitely taking it. <laughs> if it's Hennessy, in it, they're taking it. Yeah, More than once a year, though. Let me tell you something. If you want to get black, a lot of black people vaccinated, tell them they get a bottle of Hennessy with a vaccination, they will come. They will come. Get I like it. to no, thank no. all the sponsors uh, for, for, for the time we had together. <laughs> no, the way, the way, the way, the way you get the young people, you got to put it in the hookah. You got to put it in the hookah. hookah. Hookah with a bottle of Hennessy, and they'll take it. They let you shoot it in their neck. They wouldn't care. Yeah, Thomas. Tom, Tom, listen, y'all mess with Thomas. Thomas in military. Thomas is like most abusive. Thomas ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Thomas. Thomas, 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 I don't put the right branch to my son just finished boot camp, bootleg, uh, a boot camp in Navy. So he now, almost picked the right branch. He almost picked the right branch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, Thomas. Yeah, Thomas, Thomas, thank you. Thank you. Thomas, thank you. Anything, thank you, anything, you, anything you want to say right, before man. you leave? Anything you want to say before you leave, Thomas? <laughs> Yes, uh, I, I just want to thank you guys for this platform. You know, I was hoping uh, uh, after last week, you know, and every, you know, I see a lot of us not taking the vaccine. But when I go look in the morgue at my hospital, it's nothing but us. And that scares me. And, and I just want to, uh, you know, I, I, I'm encouraging you all to consider. I ain't telling you to take it. Just think about the possibility of being 95% effective of not being able to spread or contract this crazy deadly virus. I mean, at 95%, I like my odds at that. And so that's why I appreciate this platform. This is better than the barbershop, even though I'll be in there tomorrow, um, talking to <laughs> brothers who want to hear about it. And I'm going to let them know about that Magic Johnson condom thing, just like I let you guys know. I mean, because yep. that's real. The numbers don't lie. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Thomas, I can't wait to vacation with you again, man. So hopefully... We'll see each other maybe six right months. On. And if you if you if you if you bugging out, you're trying to bite me, I will lay you down, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, brother. See you in six months, Thomas. We'll see you in six months, man. Oh yes, we will. Yes, we will. We love you, we love you, brother. We love you. We love you, brother. Hey, love you too. Now I'm, hey, if I'm looking like Denzel Washington, y'all better go get that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be first on last, brother. He got that. Uh, that was good. That was good. All right. Thank you, All right, brothers. I'm out.